Imagine you're sitting in your living room, on one of your chairs, drinking coffee from a cup you always drink your coffee from. Maybe there's some kind of artwork or decoration hanging on the wall. Maybe it means something to you. Or you like the way it makes your room look. Maybe it reminds you of someone or an experience. Or you like the thought behind it. Now, when the coffee is empty, the cup disappears, the chair vanishes, the artwork is no longer there and you are gone, what remains of you then? My research is about looking at this absence. The absence I'm talking about is inscribed by a crime. The crime of someone coming to your home with the intention to eradicate you. You and every single trace you ever left in this world. Every trace of thought, of impact, individuality and identity. Intending that future generations forget that you, your world, and this crime ever existed. 75 years after the end of the Holocaust, we're discussing the problem of those objects being in museums. We discuss the problem of what we see, looking for fair and just solutions. But there are no solutions for absence. To endure and to look into absence is the beginning of a search for traces of a lost world. Recognizing the absent in the presence of the object enables us to reflect. What shall remain 